Hello everyone, in this video I'll learn how to create this album app with animations by using Fudge Geometry Effect. You have here different albums, if you click one of them, have this animation on the button to dismiss the view. If you click one of the images, we have the image viewer. Click again to dismiss the image. If you want to learn how to create this app, you can watch this video on YouTube. Let's start by creating the image stack UI. As you see, we have here three different images behind each image. And each one will be like an album or collection of images. We have here a simple module with an ID and image and here array of images. Let's start by display all the images inside in Z stack. will be inside an array, I will tell you why in a second so it will be the images array and the id you need to add the image name for this one so by using this keyword we can give each item in the array like a number this one will be like 0 1 2 3 4 and we can use this number to create our UI or any animation you want to the stack let's make this one 140 let's start by adding the rotation effect So on the finishing app, the first image have no rotation effect, just zero, but other one have maybe like five, and the next 10, the next one 15, and so on. So I wanna make sure is the last image on the array have zero rotation effect. So now we're using Z stack, and what you see is the last image. This one is the last one, so I want the last one have zero rotation effect. Image array dot count will equal equal. Negative one. This means the last one will be zero else we add the double What we say is if the last image this will be rotation zero else we go like let's say we have six we do negative one five we'll have a three negative one four we have six rotation effect 
and then the other wall will have nine rotation effect so now let's just add the offset because I want all the images to push it to the right we need to make it inside CG float type Also, we need to make sure the first one have no offset. So negative one multiply by ten. So the images move to the side, and I will have an offset to the top. So now let's add the scale effect because I want to make the images behind smaller and smaller. So now I see all the images behind, but what I want is only the last four images in the array. To do this is very simple. And here you had the number, how many images you want to see. I want only four. I have already created my data model we have here in photo we have just an image name and an album will be array of the photo and the class type observable share and the share so we can have access to the arrays inside the class it is simple and in here I will just delete all this I don't need it because I will use my own data model so this the image stack will be reusable so on the finishing app as you see we have multiple stack So we need to make this one reusable. So each stack we need to pass in the all the photos array. It will be of type photo. We'll just comment this. We don't need it anymore. And then here it should be image name. So let's go to the selected image or selected stack. In this view, we will have the array of images instead of the lazy base stack. Like when we tap on the stack, like for example, we select this stack, we see all the images for this stack. And when we tap one of them, we have the image viewer. And we tap again, we dismiss. And here also we need to pass in the images array. I 
I will just comment this, we don't need it. And make it inside Z stack. So we make it inside the scroll view. And the lazy V stack. will be two columns When we tap one of the images, like we have the image viewer, tap on this one. So I need to know which image I have selected. Will be of type photo. We'll make it optional maybe there is an image or not so and the selected image equal the image we have selected so on the scroll view I will add save area from the top So now I want to create this button like when we tap on it we dismiss the view so first thing I want to get access to this one is sheet presented you can name it anything you want will be up type the data model class And here I will just copy paste to have here and a simple button then icon and we make this one false so we can go back to the home view
So after that, when we tap one of the images, I want to display the image we have selected. And here we can say if selected image. This means if we have a value inside the selected image, this means we have already selected the image. Else we'll see nothing. We'll add in a Z stack. Also, we make all this inside the Z stack. Sorry, if lit. If we have a value inside the select image. So and so when I select an image, I want this image fill the screen based on the width and the height of the device. So to know the height and the width for the device is by using the geometry reader. And the frame will be the geometry dot size dot width another one will be the height so now we have the image after that I will dismiss the image like I tap on the image we have the image if I tap again we just dismiss the image I will just add on tap gesture. Also, I need to make sure to ignore all the save area. So now let's just go to the home view and display all the images. We need to get access to the class. And here will be inside the scroll view, lazy v stack. Two columns. All the albums. and we will display the image stack we need to pass an array of images it will be the album dot images here we go now we have the images and we say on top gesture The selected album will be the album dot images that I will have selected. When we make it this one through, 
will display the select stack and here we can say if if the is sheet presented is false we will display this scroll view else this mean is it true and here when we tab we make it true we will display the select stack we need to make sure there is images already have selected We need to pass in the view model. We'll pass in the data model and the images. Will be just this image. So now, if I select this array, I have all the images. Select again. We have this image. Return. Go back to the home view. Let's add now the animation. First thing, let's go to that, and we will add the match geometry effect. Will be after the image. We need to pass in namespace. Will be of type namespace dot id. And the ID will be the image dot ID. And we need one more geometry there for the eclipse shape. The ID will be the clip ID. We need to go back to the home view and pass in the namespace but we need to do the same to the select stack we need to also pass in the namespace we will do the same one after the image and the clip shape be the clip ID so now if we go to the home view oh yeah we need to pass in also the namespace refresh the view so if you click on this view you see the animation but when we click the image there is no animation we need also add a match geometry effect to the select image i would just copy this one after the image and this one will be the select image dot id let's just run the app scroll to the bottom I need to push this view to the left on the center and add padding from the top. So inside this scroll view, I will add pad save every padding from the right side will be 30, and from the top so now it's much better. Make it in dark mode. We have one problem is when I tap on the bottom of this image, this image will open. You see? So to fix this problem is very simple. We go to the selected stack 
and in here you can say content shape will be rectangle Let's do the same to the image stack. So now if I run the app again, I will tap on the corner to make sure you see like we'll open this one. If I tap over here, we'll open this one only, not the bottom.